Hi folks, welcome back. It is a hot day and it looks like it's only going to get hotter. So I've made some preparations for the birds in the aviary to try and keep them cool because it can be a bit of a greenhouse in there because the ceiling is like a plastic roof. Uh, obviously the front of the aviary is open as you can see behind me to the garden but in here is a little bit warmer than outside. Luckily there is a bit of a breeze which uh, helps out a bit. Um, I'll show you what I've done. What I've done is I've put plenty of water in here for the birds you can see a quail there drinking out of it already. On the left um, I've put a cup, they're the normal ones I've got and then I've got a slightly deeper one there and a hanging one there, the blue dish there. That is for any of the small birds who don't want to come down to drink. Most of them do because it's easy to bathe that way. Um, there's plenty of shade, obviously there's plenty of food as you can see, I need to brush the floor again. There's food there. There's plenty of shade around the aviary because I've put all these trees and stuff in there. I've newly put some conifer leaves that a gentleman at the tip was getting rid of. Uh, I went to get rid of some, some waste and he was getting rid of that, so I put that in to offer some cover there. Looks great. All the birds actually seem happy despite it being very, very warm. Still breeding, still displaying, still having babies. Um, we've even got a lovely nest that's been built in one of the trees I've put in. How cool is that? Zebra finch nest, got three eggs in it. There's also, if you want a bit more shelter, there's the shed part of the aviary that's in there, it's indoors and sheltered, so you can get plenty more in there. So, excellent. They all seem pretty happy. In the heat, some of the birds were sunbathing, like these diamond doves. Our golden pheasant, Sally and Jack, were trying to find some shade under the trees that we had in the aviary. I took this opportunity to change Donald's water. The pool gets grubby, quite covered in algae, and quite a few bits off of our tree in the garden fall into it. So I changed it so it's got nice, cool, fresh water to bathe in. We let the doves out for a bit of an exercise and some fresh air. To be honest, they didn't stay out long. They came back in looking for the shade quite quick. Away from the outside birds, we had some new quails hatch, including one bobwhite. These are all birds that hatch from eggs taken out of our quail run. So this little bird is a baby pheasant we hatched recently. Uh, out of Sally's brood, only two hatched, and this is the only one that survived. So um, we're bringing it up, and its name is Frank. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, we'll find out soon enough. We may get some more pheasants when Sally starts laying again. She seems to lay about a dozen eggs at once and then stops for a while. And obviously Jack, as you know from previous videos, has been in malt. So we seem to have adopted a baby golden pheasant to go with our other pair. So this here is Polly. She's a female red poll. Um, she unfortunately got trapped um, between a couple of thick branches in the aviary. I thought she was dead. Um, I pulled her out, she was in a rotten state, uh, we didn't think she was going to make it. Looks like she might have damaged a wing, but she's doing really well. The potentially damaged wing is hanging a bit low, but she's able to feed and drink and jump from branch to branch. So I think her progress is, uh, is good. I'm hoping she'll be back in the aviary as soon as we see evidence of a flying. So we may let her out and let her have a bit of a... Um, Oh, see, she's not right there, quite there yet with the flying, but she's getting there. Um, yeah, fingers crossed on her recovery, eh? Unfortunately, after I recorded most of the footage for this video, I found one of our birds had to come to the heat in the aviary. This was our female chaffing. This is a really sad loss, as this is the only female bird I have with this species. Thankfully, all the other birds survived and are doing very well. Thanks so much for watching, the next video is an adventure, join us for that. Please like and please, please, please subscribe. Thank you, bye bye.